the liberal trends in Egypt are mighty slim. Um, a lot of people have blamed the Mubarak regime for crushing liberal trends, and there's some truth to that. However, liberal trends have been mighty, uh, mighty rare in Egypt since about, since, certainly since the constitutional era, which ended in about, I mean, one way to date that is 1952 with the, with the free officers coup, with, an, with Gamal Abdel Nasser's free officers coup. But you can also make an argument that the liberal trends were slim uh, even before then, that starting in about the 1920s, they started to be under attack, uh, most notably from the Muslim Brotherhood. I have to say, I think um, some of the discussion around some of the discussion around the um, the Islamist movement in Egypt is very strange. The notion that somehow the Muslim Brotherhood would not come to power in free and fair elections is slightly counterintuitive, to say the least. The um, I know that one of the explanations that people give is they say, well, the Egyptians have seen what's happened in Tehran, and they recognize that this is a profound mistake, and they don't want to make the same mistake. Well, we don't exactly know that. Uh, the other evidence is, the other evidence is frankly compelling, that the Palestinians voted for Hamas, they voted for an Islamic regime, and if we look in Lebanon, 30% of the Christian community, I mean, of all people, we'd hardly expect Christians to want to welcome an Islamist regime. Nonetheless, 30% of the Christian community in Lebanon has aligned itself with the Khomeinist project there through uh, the leadership of General Michel Aoun and his alliance with Hezbollah. So, again, there are plenty of reasons that people opt for uh, for Islamist trends in their different countries. And one of the reasons is, is that many people like Islamist parties. Again, I have to say that it's a slightly counterintuitive notion because the Muslim Brotherhood is perhaps the pillar of Egyptian cultural, political, and intellectual life over the last century. Moreover, it's one of, it is the flower of Arab political modernity. And this began in Egypt. The notion that it is not going to play a very central role, if not the central role, in the future of Egyptian politics. Again, I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, this goes back to, uh, if we look at it, this goes back to actually, I say it's tied to, it's tied to era political modernity because it started essentially in 1798. The actual founding of the Brotherhood is 1928. But what we see happening in 1798 with Napoleon's invasion of Egypt Muslim intellectuals and activists started to wonder if the Muslim Ummah is the best of all people, as the Prophet of Islam said, then why did it happen that Egyptians were overrun so easily by the infidels? And the answer was different intellectuals started to posit, like Jamal, um, Jamal uh, Adin al-Afghani said, the reason for it is, is because Islam has become weakened. And this is one of the reasons why, um, this, is, this is the reason why the infidels overran us, non-Muslims overran us so easily. Thanks. Um, why the why we were overrun so easily? The idea was is that Islam needed a renovation. What it needed to do, to do was purge itself of various various uh, non-Islamic excesses and return itself to the practices of the Prophet uh, and his earliest. Um, his companions and his earliest successors, and these were known as the um, Salaf, the righteous forebears, and hence this movement is known as the Salafis. And if we look here, it goes from Afghani to Muhammad Abdu, the one-time uh, Mufti of Egypt, and the rector of Al-Azhar, Abdu's biographer was a man named Rashid Rida. Rida's, Rida's chief disciple was Hassan al-Banna, who was the founder of the Muslim Brotherhood in 1928. So this is a key intellectual trend in Egypt. It plays a very, very important role. It is the intellectual trend in Egypt at this stage. Um, so again, I think this is very, very important to keep in mind when we talk about whether or not the Brotherhood will or will not play a key role. It certainly will. Um,